Uh, all right, Grand Poo World. Grand Poo World One. I uh, I've I've speed ran Grand Poo World Two, but I have never actually played through the first one here. And we're already off to a great start. Hi, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> Shut up. All right. The princess was taken. Who did it this time? Your quest begins into the wide world. Hurry, boy. She's waiting there for you. I did watch Stu and Laser Belch. Well, Laser Belch first. I was watching him speedrun this a while ago. And then I, I watched some of uh, Stu speedrunning this. I'm definitely not blind to it. This hack is dedicated to my good friend, Grand Pooh Bear. Good luck, have fun, Barb. House of Pooh sounds like a horrific place. I don't know, some people are into that. Some people are into that. Uh, okay, Bonsai Blitz. There's a Kaizo block somewhere around here. Hi, healthier. My brother had a sports bike for a while. My brother in New Hampshire. <laughs> Trying to figure out how I how I want to say this. I love my brother. He's not always been the smartest or made the best decisions. He sold his car one year. There. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, H. Uh, my, my brother sold his car, living in New Hampshire, to buy a sports bike. Needless to say, he ended up selling the sports bike after not too long and buying another. For me personally, like, I wouldn't be able to read chat as well. As I am right now. If this had instant retry. And I like reading and interacting with chat. But obviously not everybody playing ROM hacks is a streamer. Let's go. Ah, uh, yo, shit. Ah, uh, RC Shelto, thank you for the Prime Gaming two months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for the GGs. All right, cool. Cool. Moria. The Mayans of Moria. I have no strong opinions on retry prompts. You know, that's what I hate about these neutral people. You never know which side they're on. <laughs> uh, just what you thought of the Crucible Knights. They, they said something like, The Crucible Knights, all except the one in the Volcano Manor, have but one master. Do you know who it is? And that was it. It was very cryptic. And very clearly a hint at DLC. Looks like the DLC will have to do with the Crucible Knights. Which I am super happy about. H! Because I thought the Crucible Knights were some of the... One of the best enemies in Elden Ring. Uh, H! That was easy. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mind it. If you're not leveled enough, or if you if you're like if you got a weak build against Astel, it's a pain in the dick. But it's also it's just kind of one of those bosses that are like visually really appealing, but not the greatest gameplay wise. But I didn't hate it. I think a lot of people fight Astel too early. Okay. 
Okay. All right, cool. Is Elden Ring better than Dark Souls 1, in my opinion? Um... That's tough to answer. Two out of 21. That's tough to answer. Yes. It, it's, it's like comparing... It's like comparing an orange to a steak. Thank you for the GG's, guys. Uh, blue, blue beach. Yeah. I, I do think Elden Ring is better. But I, I also think Dark Souls 1 actually has some boss fights that I like a lot more than a lot of the boss fights in Elden Ring. I think final answer. Elden Ring is better, but I, I think Dark Souls 1 actually did some stuff better than Elden Ring did. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. Okay. Oh man, that checkpoint is fucked. Amazing chest ahead and her backstory. Mm. Yes. That's a good question, man. I. I I'm not sure. Alright. Wait a little bit longer to jump? Hey, there we go. Alright. In there. In there. I'm smart sometimes. Alright. Took a couple tries, but we are in there. Oh boy, Okigahara. Oh boy. Kaiza one special world is like <laughs> borderline RTA viable. It's RTA viable, but wow. I really wasn't expecting it to be that bad. I tried it and did not make it very far. Yeah, what if fuck you, but also fuck you? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. I know how to do this. I know when the turn back is. <sighs> okay, dude. All right, let's go. I am happy to be out of there. Happy to be out of there. That was kind of lucky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend it was all skill. No luck, all skill. That was so close. No, RB Pimlico, that was calculated and absolutely not something I just clenched very hard over. All right, Pacebin Palace. This one shouldn't be too bad. Thank you guys for the GGs. What's up, 8 bit Aztec? That's a cool name. That boo cloud section is a killer. Yeah, I, I kind of, I, I stalled a little bit too long on that, on that first wave, but in the end, I got a little lucky. Got a little lucky. All right, Paceman Palace. Okay. 
Alright then, keep your secrets. No, there's no better reference than a Lord of the Rings reference. Easy. What would that take, like, two minutes? This is not right. We have to go back through the pipe, right? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Oh, what? <laughs> Alright, we're not going for the wall yump. I'll just get out of there. Okie dokes. Uh, okay. Boo! Blood Meridian. Yeah, Blood Meridian is a 350 page book that reads like a 700 page book. Yep. It's also very brutal. And the ending kind of like... The ending just kind of makes you go like... What? <laughs> the ending had me questioning like my entire existence. Okay. Just big jump. Big jump. And then... And then... Okay, and just go right away. All right. Okay. All righty. Uh, have a good night, Matt. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Uh. All right. Out of there. There was a Jesus in the alley that let me sit on his lap. Wow, Dan. Did you get a picture with him? And it was all over the walls and the ceiling, there was doo doo feces. Doo doo feces on the windows and the shirts and doody doody Jesus sat on the ground squeeing at the brown doo doo feces. Okay, alright. Uh, Barnacle Boy, thank you for another 100 bits. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Exodus is going to have his work cut out for him. I don't actually know what that means.
It's a lot of fun. We still only ever found that one Lord Soul. Got three more Lord Souls in the Lord Vessel out there somewhere. Thirty. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. That was a good level. Randos are super fun and silly. They really are. They really are. I'm like already excited to do another one even though I haven't finished that one. Shit, are we on Botany Bay? Fuck, we're on Botany Bay. Alright. And now... Now that I'm in Florida... And not working... Especially after I got out of the hospital for my lungs. <clears throat> I'm just kind of put on weight. It's because now I'm, I obviously have a job that's more sedentary. You'll just be Alpha Dad, you got the dad bod. Hi Super Mario, 007. gonna make it okay all right there we go all right H <laughs> they have the crispy pepperonis that turn into little bowls of grease when they bake it <laughs> The sad part is, like, the grease is where all the flavor is. But it's so bad for you. I do, I, I, I like, I like the pepperoni to be a little bit, like, a little burnt. I feel like that would have been too slow. We're just gonna play it safe. Everything is bad. Yeah, you know, 100% of people who drink water die. One hundred. Oh, dude, I love marinara sauce. Marinara sauce and mozzarella sticks will never not be a good combo. I don't care if it's on the kids menu. That shit is delicious. Did you know that 100% of people who have died lived at one point? Whoa, dude, fuck. I gotta stop living then. What's the troll? I don't remember. Fugu. Okay, dude. Oh, God. Get me out of there. Get me out of that fucking section. Good lord. Freedom! Freedom! Large pug. Thank you guys for the GG's. You're a donor, it's a good thing to be. Yeah, I mean... It's not like when somebody needs a kidney and there are no people willing to give kidneys, they're like, well, you're an organ donor, get on the fucking operating table, man. It's only once you die, so like, that was my thought, it's like, oh, I mean, who cares? I'm gonna be dead. I don't need it anymore.
Oh, I see. I knew it. I knew it. All right, that was easy as fuck, dude. That was super easy. I knew the troll. I knew it. Not that one. I'm avoiding that. Okay, that's the first troll I've avoided successfully. <laughs> oh, yeah, fruit and cake is good. Fruit cake is not good. I like fruit and cake because I don't really like icing. Unless it's buttercream icing. And only a little bit of it. I hate I hate the cakes that are like just covered in just copious amounts of icing. Hey. I knew about that one too. Can't get me. Can't get me. Alright, that was not a bad level. That didn't take too long. That was fun. It's fun. I liked it. Good. Nine. I'll do my best to help you get a room to stream. Beware though, European times are not that great to stream on. I appreciate the offer, Lloyd. I don't think I'll be moving to Switzerland anytime soon though. That's very kind of you. As much as I would like to live in Switzerland instead of the US. somebody play like quickie one for the first time watch them get to the chuck gate there it's like a whole new world Shell jumps. Yeah. Disco shells, shell jumps, saw rides, chuck gates. They're definitely all among the the beginner killers. Okay. Okay, dude. All right. Out of there. In there. Let's go. It's a tough level. It's a tough level. GG's. GG's. Uh, 10. 10 down. All right. I need. I, there's something very important I need for this level. Something very important I'm gonna need. Give me one second while I go grab that. Then how it appears in Mario. Now I don't think, I don't think killing a turtle is uh, illegal. I'm pretty sure it's only... Isn't it dogs and cats? Is the extent of like... 
where you'd run into legal issues for committing violence against. There we go. Okay. God damn it. That's also in the clear video. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Why, why do I need to be talking about animal violence in the clear video? Okay. Ditch. Alrighty then. There we go. First try, dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. All right. Easy. Easy level. Easy level. You're not dumb. You're just logically impaired. I like the way you put that. Yeah, that, that midair shell jump is really quite finicky. You gotta like hit it just the right way and then only let go of Y for a really like strict amount of time. It's a weird little trick. Uh, okay, all right. I thought the Bowser statue was going to shoot. I forgot what was at the end there. All right. Oh, yeah, actually, you might be right, Dr. Beardsley. Neutraling the D-pad probably would have made it easier. That way you lock in your, your speed value. And then now it's Corn Dilly, right? Yeah, that's Corn Dilly. Yeah, Widow's Peak. <laughs> Can't complain about that one. Grapefruits are for one thing and one thing only. Thanks, Obama. Throw it back to the voting booth pickup line. I still think that was a good pickup line. I still think it was. You guys can't convince me otherwise. That was quality. It was funny. Probably would work pretty well. Elden Ring Soul Level 1 speedrun when? Uh, I never beat Soul Level 1 casually. <laughs> so probably never. What's the pickup line? It was, girl, are you a voting booth? Because I would do things to you that I wouldn't want to talk about with my family. That's pretty good, right? 
pretty good. Gets the message across. It's funny. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay, yeah, YouTube. If you're on YouTube, tell me what you think. Was that was that a good pickup line? That was a good pickup line, right? Hi, YouTube. Okay, GG's, dude. Out of that fucking level. Out of that level. Trying to remember what level comes after this. I think it's Fangorn. Could be wrong, though. Yo! Oh, I know the two frame. Yay! Looking forward to that. Okay, all right. Uh, fuck. <laughs> okay, yo, first try. Don't get soft locked. Okay. All right. All right. And just wait out the cycles. It's made with leftover burger patties and hatred. Come on, Wendy. Come on, Wendy. Slop, do you like Wendy's? Wendy's nuts hit your face. <laughs> Come on. I might have been able to get that one. I don't know. Come on, Wendy. GameCube is in, yo. Hell yeah, dude. That's exciting. All right, let's go. Nice. Your mom's riveting. GG's. That, that, you know that really, the whole red keep didn't really take that long, but. Yo, let's go. Let's go. H. Easy. Easy. Let. Yo, what's up, Hansman? Good evening. To you. Where is it? Ah! Oh! 
Okay. Oh boy. Oh god. That is a fucked up level, dude. That is a fucked up level. Stephen King's written some fucked up shit. If that's the short story I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah, Shawshank Redemption was really damn good. Yeah. Please, please. Hey, let's go. Oh, it's because they're vampires? Oh. Well, I was close. sick that level was so cool that was probably my favorite level so far okay we did suspect at one point maybe it was his food but I think we've kind of ruled it out at this point. I don't know, can you give dogs Benadryl? I'm not sure. There might even there might even be like a good a good doggy allergy medicine that isn't quite the same as Benadryl. I know there's a Kaizo here. Get me in there. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> there's a Kaizo block underneath that pipe. I, I used to work on God. I've worked on multiple golf courses, even down here in Florida. Pump. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, God. Fuck that level, dude. Fuck that level. Let's go. Now we never need to play that level again in my life. Nice. Didn't got him. Yeah, thankfully I know all about that room. There's a Kaizo there, and I, I, I knew how to avoid all that stuff. All right.
like the ideas are really cool if you want to if you want to improve your level design I think it's important to really focus on asking yourself what it is you're trying to make the player go through what do you want the player to achieve what obstacle like not just like jumping over a muncher obstacle but the 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 metaphorical grander scheme perspective obstacle what obstacle do you want your player to overcome what challenge do you want your player to overcome do you want your player to overcome a challenge introduced by engaging with your ideas or do you want the player to like control their movement in such a tight specific way that they they don't hit a certain muncher you know what i mean those are the kind of things that i think go into analyzing your own and other people's level design yeah well, i think i think if uh, maybe that was the the that level was it the dark version of the level with the kaizo blocks that kill you where you're in that really tight space and you spin jump on that koopa and there's the there's a muncher directly above that koopa like what is the, what does that specific muncher do does that force them to do the movement that you want there no the, the same movement is going to be achieved if that muncher isn't there and that muncher just adds a little of what i consider would be arbitrary tightness do you want that arbitrary tightness or do you not consider that tight that kind of tightness arbitrary are you more into that kind of like really tight precision thing if so great if so i mean fucking a awesome perfect that's fine but if not like you could you could achieve a higher level of flow and obviously a bit more forgiveness to the player if you were to just allow them that leeway and i think i think having tightness like that works a hell of a lot better when the majority of your hack is designed around it but that's not the case because 75 percent of most of your levels like a lot of the jumps were pretty open and pretty pretty free you know what i mean so it, it it's good to strike a balance it's also good to have a consistent theme you don't want you don't want a level that has jumps that are all quickie to difficulty and then boom there's a casio level tightness fucking jump in the middle of it for no reason you know that was kind of one of those shitty things about being in new hampshire small town new hampshire everybody goes to the same grocery store pretty much <laughs> which was another reason i really liked going at like 1 a.m How is there no Kaizo there? Really? There's got to be a Kaizo there. Market Basket. Yeah, Market Basket or Hannaford's, dude. Or Shaw's. Okay, all right. The People's Castle. Uh, yeah, dude, the uh, uh, Cult of the Lamb game. I've really been enjoying it. That's I've been... I've been staying up way too late <laughs> from streaming that. Uh, definitely will continue playing it. I might even do some speed runs of it. I ended up streaming ten and a half hours yesterday <laughs> because I just couldn't stop playing that. 
kind of one of those games. It's so, it's so easy to just be like, oh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Oh, okay, we'll do another run. Okay, now I just got to do one more thing for the Colt. Uh, we might as well do another run. It's just so easy to just keep going. No life. I, yeah. I do have no life. It is good content, though. It's also fun. It's also just very fun to stream. He shot so early, dude. In there. Okay. All right, dude. All right. <laughs> Good luck beating this tonight. Thanks, Naha. Huh? Thanks, dude. <laughs> there. No, dude, shit. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, the boss wasn't that bad. The boss wasn't that bad. All right. Out of the people's castle. We out. We out. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, Matthias? What's up, Reaper? Out. Into special world. Nexus. Fuck. 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 Special world awaits. Find the three switch palaces. I have. Fuck. 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 Uh, Tempest. Thank you for the gift sub to Outer Agent. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. All right, that's uh, 22. So close, what's up, Control? Yeah, that's literally... That's the end right there. I don't think we'll be on it too long. It's really, it's not that hard. I was expecting it to be harder, to be honest. It's fun. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, good level. Good level. That is one of the easier in the hack. Yeah, I really... You don't see any earthquake warnings? Well, that's good. Yeah, I sure have experienced a few weathers on stream. We do get some pretty bro uh, brutal thunderstorms, but they don't last long. Ah, the weather outside today is very weather. What's up, Twaddler? Hey, d doesn't matter. We got it. I know, we keep getting very close. There's a double eat.
Kiki, I have an answer at the utmost urgency for you. What is your question? Hopefully I can answer it to the best of my ability. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. All right. Uh... Out of there. Out of there, dude. Final level. Final level. The throne room. God, knowing you guys. I don't want my stream to just be a fucking series of fart sounds and other stupid sounds. Efforts have brought you here, the summit of this game. I wish you luck. It's weird staring at Barb while this plays. Uh, Boozy, thank you for the 666 bits. Brown Tower, thank you for the nine months. Uh, Alright, let's see what's... uh. Let's see what's in this door. Let's fight Bowser. Oh shit! Oh wow, look at that! Wow! Yeah, see, I, I, you guys keep kept saying there was a Bowser at the end of this hack. You guys kept saying there was a Bowser. I, I didn't ever remember seeing a Bowser at the end of this hack. Alright, yo, GG's! GG's! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, yo, that's Grand Pool World 1! Grand Pool World 1! Easy game! 